Hi, my name is Nabil Hassan. I am a master student at NERS Six. In today's video, I will introduce you to the satellite data. This video is presented by MacFizz Lab at NERS. In this introductory video, we will introduce you to the basic terminology you need to understand before getting to know the data. Then, widely used and commonly known data sets available at internet. And in the end, we will look at the applications of these data sets. Uh, this is the agenda of the meeting. Uh, first, we look at the satellite data. Satellite data is defined as the data that is acquired by the Earth's revolving satellites. Uh, and another term that you can come across is aerial uh, data, aerial imagery. Aerial imagery is the imagery acquired by the aeroplanes, UAVs or uh, balloons from the height to the lower ground. Uh, another term that you need to understand before downloading data set. Uh, whenever you go across these websites which provide the data, they ask you what they provide you with an option of L1 data, L2 data. L4 data. What what is meant by L0 data, L1 data? L0 is the completely unprocessed data with the, all the communication of the satellite. This data is usually not usable for uh, image analysts or uh, image analyst professionals. Then comes the A1 uh, L1 data. This is usually available and this is the raw data, full resolution and uh, with the geotagging and uh, time reference stamps. Then comes L2 data. It has uh, it has high, uh, a little bit process than L1. It has primary variables like height, soil, and uh, uh, texture. And then comes the L3. Uh, in the uh, L3, these variables are uniformly mapped in the space. And then for the L4 data, that are uh, maps constructed from these data sets. Uh, L4 and L3 is a high level data that uh, would allow us to make uh, observations uh, very conveniently like uh, NDVI maps, uh, vegetation indices and air quality indices mapping. Then comes the resolution. Before starting to uh, do any kind of work on the satellite data, you need to understand uh, resolution of satellite imagery and then um, uh, make a list of the data set requirement uh, for your application. This There is a four type of resolution in uh, satellite imagery. First is the spatial resolution. It refers to the area of ground represented by each pixel. When different satellites provide us with different spatial resolution. Uh, the low resolution satellites are suitable for uh, uh, larger, bigger level applications and uh, higher resolution are suitable for smaller applications. Uh, satellite uh, resolution, uh, the second type is spectral resolution. It refers to the number of bands that can, uh, that is collected by the sensor. Then radiometric resolution is the intensity level. Usually 8 bits and 11 bits are highly common in remote sensing. Then comes the temporal resolution. Temporal resolution is the duration taken by the satellite to revisit the same point of the Earth's surface. It is also very important. Then we will introduce you to the primary data sets that are available on internet and these are widely used all over the globe. First is MODIS. MODIS is actually a sensor that is mounted on Terra and Aqua. The uh, specifications of the sensor and the MODIS data is same. MODIS collect 36 bands. So we have a wide range of bands here. And the spatial resolution is uh, 250 meters. That means that one pixel of uh, MODIS imagery uh, represent 250 cross 250 meters area on the ground. As you can see, this area is very large and it is high, it is suitable for large scale application like country wide or continent wise. Uh, then there comes across spectral uh, resolution. It is mainly focused on visible and infrared and thermal uh, portion of the spectral band. The material that are highly sensitive to this range uh, can be easily detected and categorized by MODIS data. Then there is temporal resolution. MODIS provide us daily a different 
uh, spectral bands are updated on uh, different kind of data is updated on different uh, time interval basis that some maps are uh, updated on yearly basis we have a continuous data from 2000 onward they, this is uh, very useful in terms if you want to study uh, climate changes over the last 20 years this can provide us a very good reference then there is the landsat landsat imagery uh, emission was launched by the us in 1972 and uh, roughly we have uh, data of 50 years uh, from uh, 72 onwards Several Landsat missions were launched uh, like Landsat 1, 2, 3 and currently Landsat 8 and 9 are active and we have uh, the imagery available. Landsat was primarily launched uh, for the uh, agriculture monitoring. Uh, it has a resolution of 30 meters and uh, it provides us imagery within nine bands mainly focused in uh, infrared and visible range and it has a revisit time of 16 days it also provides us with a global coverage and its data is available freely it is uh, highly used in agricultural applications virs visible infrared imagery radiometric suite it has a resolution of 375 meter to 750 meters it is mainly in uh, uh, visible uh, visible infrared and thermal region and it has a revisit time of uh, daily weekly bi-weekly monthly and yearly uh, from uh, now we move to sentinel data sentinel data uh, is high, uh, widely available and is freely available uh, from to, uh, 2008 to onward uh, the currently active sentinels are uh, 2a and 2b launched in uh, 15 and 17 respectively this constellation provides us with the image uh, resolution at three different levels it observes the earth surface at three different levels uh, like 10 meter 20 meters and 60 meter these different resolutions make us uh, make us uh, allow us to make observations at three different stages like um, uh, small medium and large scale uh, observation it is also mainly uh, visible infrared and thermal range bands in it temporal resolution is five days and we have completely complete data available from 2015 to onward it is sentinel also provide global coverage uh, there is a uh, sentinel hub named uh, internet website that can provide us with the data of sentinels in the end uh, we have uh, uh, harmonized landsat and sentinel 2 image this combines the uh, lands observations of uh, landsat oli sensor and uh, sentinel 2 msi in a single data set this increase the uh, temporal resolution uh, in case of uh, landsat we have 16 and in sentinel 5 days but in hls we can have the resolution uh, uh, between 2 to 3 days and this provides us with the uh, benefits of both uh, landsat and sentinel so this is uh, very highly used in agriculture and uh, vegetation now we would like to discuss the importance or the applications of uh, these data sets or satellite imagery in general satellite imagery is uh, highly used in urban planning uh, for example you want to monitor a large area of uh, like a province or a country you cannot uh, access them physically that how the building how illegal buildings or uh, are getting built in the area but satellite imagery make it e very easy for us then there is a waste management then comes carbon emissions uh, infrastructure planning like bigger dams we can see their progress and for vegetation monitoring uh, i would like to discuss vegetation monitoring in detail vegetation monitoring is very important for uh, uh, food security and ahead of time decision making for the government like uh, if certain crop uh, certain region or a country is facing a shortage of wheat uh, they can make this observation with the satellite data that most of the uh, crop country cultivated is not wheat or any other crop 
so they can make arrangements like uh, import export uh, regarding on the observation uh, the temporary data set is uh, uh, can uh, can get from uh, any online data set i would like to discuss a primary uh, pipeline or the requirements you need to understand before uh, making the first move first you need to see uh, what is the life cycle of your uh, crop or uh, vegetation for example if it is a forest then you need a yearly data may be enough for um, but if you are uh, a two or three months crop you need weekly data then if this crop is uh, cultivated on small area then you need a high resolution data and uh, its temporal resolution should be within a week so you can uh, take the observation again uh these are the steps that you need to consider before making the analysis and downloading the data in some cases uh, the above provided data sets are mostly freely available but uh, high resolution satellites are also uh, uh, provide us data but they are usually paid like spot and these are these have sub meter resolutions so that is all from my side Uh thank you